my character has this globe that she really loves. And I somehow, in the middle of the scene, like cut my hand on that. And then after the take, it was like, not profusely bleeding. I don't want to be like dramatic here, but it was like bleeding. Hey, I'm Laura Morano, and this is my Woman's Health Body Scan. What do I love most about my body? I, I feel like there's two aspects I want to tackle here. So from a vanity level, I do love my legs. I'm a very short person, but I feel like my legs make me look taller than I am. From a, a deeper a deeper perspective, I think my body is really resilient. I, from a very young age, have very much sometimes pushed past my capacity to do as much stuff as I want to. I almost always, it does almost always end up with me getting some sort of sick of like, I get sinus infections a lot or something like that. But there have been times where I'm like, how, I look back and I'm like, how did I do that? How did my body take the amount of stress and stuff I was putting on it? And I think my body is really resilient and sometimes I take that for granted. And I feel like in my, in my older age, I really have been trying to know what my boundaries are and not try to push past my capacity as much as I can. But it is really resilient and I'm very, very grateful for that. So I don't have any tattoos. I sometimes wonder if that's like a commitment issue. I wouldn't say I'm a, not into commitment. I'm a committed person, but I feel like putting something on your body forever and ever and ever, yes, you can laser it off if you want to, but that's so much work, is a big commitment and I'm not sure I'm ready to make it. I, I guess if I were to get one, I think one, I would get a pretty small one and I would get it in a place, probably do like an ankle thing. If I were to get one, it probably would be some sort of song lyric. What it would be, I don't know, but something in that world. Believe it or not, I actually have no piercings. And in fact, what you see on my ears right now, these are actually clip-ons. And fun fact, um, so I don't know how much you can see. So there's a little, um, that was the sound effect I assume it had. These are actually from the movie I just did, The Royal Treatment, the costume designer, because I always, you know, I try to tell stylists or designers beforehand. Sometimes that information doesn't get across and I'll be like, I was on a photo shoot yesterday and the poor stylist, all the jewelry she had was just earrings. And I was like, awkward. But she actually, the wardrobe designer on the Royal Treatment just let me um, keep this, which was really nice uh, because I was obsessed with them. And I was like, maybe I do, should get a piercing to just wear hoops. I scar really easily, but my body, I don't know, I guess kind of heals for me easily because I was like looking at my body preparing for the scar question. I'm like, all of these scars that I know I had, like even like two years ago, um, I don't have any more and they have kind of healed over. This one is a very recent one. It's from last year and it was while I was filming the Royal Treatment. The thing is, I'm, I'm really clumsy. I, I literally can't tell you how this happened, except that I know it involved in the movie, my character has this globe that she really loves. And so it's like a regular globe, brown globe, but it has like the little like stand that holds it. And I somehow in the middle of the scene, like cut my hand on that. Have no idea. All I know is like, oh, I was like, oh, that kind of hurts a little bit. And then after the take, it was like, not profusely bleeding, I don't wanna be like dramatic here, but it was like bleeding. And I'm like, oh, come on. <laughs> so my skin regimen, to be honest, I'm a big believer of switching products all the time. So I have kind of a loop of products that I use over the course of the week. Again, body is resilient, which means I feel like sometimes it gets a little too smart for things. So products that will work on my skin will end up like not working if I use them continuously over and over again. It's like my body gets smart and it's like, nah. I also have like combination skin. So I have, at least on my face, I have dry and oily, which is so fun to deal with. Beyond my face though, I would say, I'm, I am mostly kind of dry. So I really try to like lotion up and do as much as I can for my skin. For my face specifically, there's this witch hazel toner that I got when I was working with a company called Acne Free that I use religiously. I'm like obsessed with witch hazel. I think it is so lovely and so nice. I also just sometimes if my skin just needs to not have anything, I'll use like spa water, which is cogen dough. I might be totally butchering that name, but I'm so sorry. I use your products all the time. Um, and so that's just like regular spa water for like taking off makeup. But sometimes even just like when I don't have makeup on, it just feels very nice. It has the word spa in it, so come on. I cannot do my own nails. Like, I just, 
I am not talented that way. It would make my life so much easier if I could. I can't even do it with my right hand. Like I know people say like, oh, my left hand. Like I just, some people have skills um, in a variety of things, including nails. I'm not one of those people. I, I would hope that I have skills in other aspects, but that is just not one of those skills. So I do enjoy it. I have gels on right now. I don't know if I love gels all the time because I do think they do affect my nail beds, I guess. They do just make life a little bit easier, but I have an amazing nail artist. Her name is Zola. Love, shout out to Zola. I try to get kind of my nails done every few weeks. Um, usually not gels unless I'm doing a lot of press or something. I try to be very diligent about taking care of it and what I can do. I'm gonna forget every single product that I use, which is great, but there have been a bunch of different products that I think are helpful and it's, I'm not gonna be helpful to you right now. One like starts with an O, it's like Olaplex. Oh my God, how did I just, I think it's Olaplex. Please, dear God, let that be right. I'm like, how did I grab that from my brain? I think it's like Olaplex number three. And it's just like a hair mask thing that you put on for like 10 minutes on your wet, unwashed hair. That's been amazing. There's a shampoo I use that's pink and it starts with an S. I think it's based in Italy. I don't know, I started using it when I was in New Zealand, ironically, and it, that was really nice for my hair. I try to have two different shampoos that I use, but the last shampoo I was using, Someone was like, this is not right for your hair. So I've just been using this pink one. I'm trying to find with the other shampoo I should be using. Conditioner, I use a variety of conditioners. I also sometimes will do a Cara Stassi. I'm, it's like a keratin kind of name. And I think it's like K-E-R-A. S-T-E-S-E. -E. It's definitely not totally that, but it's something like that. I think I do a few things for my, I guess, regimen and taking care of my mental health, my emotional health, anything like that. I love working out. I try to work out as much as I can over the week. Sometimes I do great, sometimes I don't. But I know every time I do do it, I do feel great physically, but also mentally. I think it is really important for your your mental being to work out. And I think where I get my energy, and I was talking to someone about this a while ago, is listening to music. For me, listening to music and music is such an important outlet for my mental and emotional health, whether that's as a fan, right? Just listening, putting a playlist on and listening and getting lost in that, or as a creative. A songwriting is something that for me is a humongous outlet in processing different things I'm feeling. Even if it's something I'm like never gonna actually put out a release, just writing for myself, I think also sometimes doing nothing and just watching, <laughs> just being on my couch and literally like watching movies or TV shows. I think overall having that connection, something to watch to and being able to get lost into something that I wasn't on my iPad or my phone or whatever and could kind of turn my brain off uh, was so important. I do do the same thing with rom-com movies. I feel like putting on the same movie that I've seen a billion times, whether it's when Harry met Sally or they're going on 30, Princess Diaries is like something that definitely makes me happy. So I hope with my movie, The Royal Treatment, I hope that that does that for other people, that they can just kind of get lost and not uh, have to have their brains on and worry about everything that's happening. Yeah, I guess all those things in a nutshell kind of do, at least what I attempt to try to do to take care of myself.